I just ate some ice cream, so sorry if there's chocolate on my forehead or something. So I've been having a dilemma lately. So like, not really, but I gotta make a choice basically. So back in Colorado, my friend proposed to me, we start a merch store. He runs it, he does everything, and all I gotta do is advertise it. We split the profit 50-50, we made the website, it's k.f, and it was good at first. Not as good as we expected, but like... You know, it was still good. We were, we were profiting. My main demographic is 18 to 24. You know, that's a lot of broke people. So no one's going to get merch. And uh, I don't really have a whole lot of like... I do got quesadillas that really fuck with me. But, you know, not a whole lot. And maybe all the ones I do are broke. So I, I, don't, I don't know. But like, I guess my audience isn't that big. Yeah, so it did all right for like first couple months. But more recently, the past six months or so, we weren't really making any... I was... I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I trusted my friend to just like do everything i just told them like I, I trust you so just send me half the profit whenever we make money and the past six months i haven't got anything from him he said yeah no we haven't made any profit we get like a couple sales a month but having the website running the store costs money so we're not really making any money and eventually my friend just gave me the website he said it's better if you have all the profit because we're really not making anything and um and i was like okay cool and so i got the website i learned how to do everything and then having the merch store seeing everything all the data everything like doing everything myself kind of gave me motivation to uh, start advertising the merch and stuff like that and I had a plan to like make a new design I had this cool idea and everything but like I don't know I was thinking just just shutting down the merch store because yeah, let me break let me break it down for you guys it costs like 50 bucks to run the merch store every month and then every six months i have to pay for the domain name k.f and that's like 70 bucks so if i don't get sales i'm just losing money and the thing is like even from the sales i don't make that much my merch store it's like it's like average price maybe a little expensive but like the thing is it has to be you know what happens when someone buys something from the merch store so here's an example if someone buys a hoodie i think the hoodie's like 37 dollars or something someone buys a hoodie i have to to pay $30 first it automatically takes money from my card 30 bucks and then like a couple days later it sends me $37 back so I made seven dollars when you see the prices for the merch like i'm not making all that money it's a pretty small cut and so for the past couple months i've only been getting just like just a couple of sales every month and that's why my friend just gave me the website because like i'm pretty sure he was just losing money at a certain point so he get, just gave it to me and so that's what i realized when i took control of the merch store i had an idea to like launch a new design and everything but it's like even if i launch a design make a big announcement advertise it a lot maybe i'll have like a little burst of sales and like make some money but like i don't think i could keep consistently doing that and i don't really like plugging the merch constantly like every single video i mean it is easy but like i mean i'm sure like you guys get annoyed by that i don't know now you guys are chill you probably don't okay to be honest i just forget like i forget to you know promote it all the time you know i'm not a salesperson i'm a youtuber i'm just focused on the video not selling merch you know so i kind of forget to promote it all the time in the vlogs but i don't know i was just thinking like whether i should shut down the store or launch a new design and keep the store running i think i just need to get bigger like i just need to grow first and then have like a good connections with people first before i just rush into trying to make money i don't know but it's getting late it's already dark out and i want to go see my grandma today so i'm gonna get ready real quick all right so my grandma as you all know she was in the hospital and now she's in a rehab center just chilling i guess so yeah i'm gonna go see her let me show you guys where she is all right so this is tokyo let's zoom into where i live it's a small station you don't even see it until you zoom in all right so i live in takaido station so this this is fujimi gaoka this is the next station oh right, by the way if you keep going down this line you go down all the way you keep going you'll hit shibuya right here so let's go back to my station all right, so this is my station. If you keep going this way, you'll hit Fujimi Gaoka. And then right here is Kugayama. You gotta zoom in for that one too. And my grandma, her rehab center is like right, I think right around here. Yeah, it's like somewhere over here. So I could take the train to Kugayama right here and, and then walk over. But honestly, like I already live like right here. So I think I'm just gonna like take this road and just walk all the way down over here. I've done it before to go to this le repas it's a bakery it takes like 20 30 minutes so i think i'm gonna just walk save train money i gotta walk like five minutes down to the train station anyway so i could just skirt 
boom. I don't know, I like walking, so I'm gonna just do that. All right, so I'm looking at the place, and this is actually gonna be a long walk. So I'm walking down this road, right? That's Kugayama. I thought it was near here, but it's actually way over here. All right, so this is Kugayama. So I basically have to walk to Kugayama, and then walk here. So it's gonna take a minute. It's uh, 2.4 miles, not too long. It says 53 minutes, and I walk pretty fast, so I think I could do it in 40. I ran six miles in 40 minutes when I was like 13, so I think I got this. There's a tennis place over here. Just walking down this road right here though. Over there's Takaido. You can see the tower right there. That's how you know it's Takaido. Look at all these trees right here. It seems like the kind of place Logan Paul would be at. I'm walking past Fujimi Gaoka now. It's a small little train station next to my station. This is the main road for Fujimi Gaoka, I think. So we're halfway to Kugayama. We'll be there in no time. It'd be real nice if I had a car though. Honestly, even a bike would make this a whole lot shorter. All right, I'm getting closer to Kugayama. Look at this. A little more woodsy here. Looks like civilization is coming up. Looks like we got to Kugayama. This is the train station. Kugayama doesn't really pop up on the map until you zoom in like Takaido, but it's still kind of a bigger train station. It has a lot more shops. It's pretty chill. Pretty cool station. I've never been this far out, like walking from Takaido. Look at all these lights that just go down this road. That's pretty cool. So my train line is the Inokashira line, and on one end is Shibuya, and the other end is Kichijoji, which is a pretty big station in Tokyo. So this is like West Tokyo. When it gets west of Tokyo, it basically like gets more suburb, and if you go like more east, it gets to Ginza, Roppongi, basically just more city, more business, more rich people. So this is like more the suburb side, like more inland and stuff. So if I were to be in Shibuya, I'll take the train home, but if I just keep going, I'll hit Kichijoji after a couple stops, and that's a pretty big station like I just said. I don't know why I'm telling you this but you know Kichijoji is pretty cool too. I'll have to make a vlog there someday though because it's pretty nice. Like I pretty much walked halfway to Kichijoji at this point so I could just keep walking and go there if I wanted to. Yo check this out. Es Mato. I've never heard of this kombini. That's an off-brand kombini. All right let's play a game. Just like in the last video. First person to get each song gets a heart. First person to get every song We'll get a shout out next time I do this. Okay, I like this. Make sure to put your tag when you guess every song. All right, let's do it. Oh, fuck. I don't even know the lyrics. Some of the songs I know are hard to say. So no love for us. This song says nibbas a lot, so I don't really want to say it. Okay, hold up. Got it, I showed it. I got voted. Okay, this hard. What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to just do the rhythm for this one. Bitch, I am the chosen one. Okay, that's all you got. Here, here I'll give you a hint. It's Young Bass, okay? Oh, okay, I fuck with this song. I like this song. Do it on manual. And then just your casual. And then it's a hair of you. Hair of you. Then a hair of you. Yo, Killy's hard to rap to too. I like rappers that you could barely understand. They just sound good to me, I don't know. Yeah, I got a dog off in the UFO. Snap your way to my stuff off from home. Throw out my dope, you take one, toke, you choke, choke, choke. Alright, that's all I got. Alright, every time we play this game, we'll do three songs. We did song one, that was song two. I'm about to play song three. I'm just playing my playlist on shuffle right now. This song was in my last vlog, actually. Alright. Slay. Oh, ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, blow talk. I'm a late blow talk. Ooh. Okay, y'all should know the song by now. I like Glock 9's part though. I'm gonna rap this part. Heard he caught a body, but that does not mean shit to me. Got two on me, got two on me. But gang, we got two on me. Hey, that a whole deal play it. That white dude, they need to do time back. They go to the B dog, get on the back, get the bed, 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 the bed. Shit. It's hard to rap. Rappers need more credit. Nah, anyway, those are the three songs. Yo, look at that. It's like a police car, but not a real police car, I don't think. We're almost there, though. All right, you know how I was talking about Kichijoji earlier? I'm pretty sure those big buildings all the way over there, 
is Kichijoji. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the rehab center. Oh, wait, never mind. I think it's this building right here. My uncle told me to go to the back if I'm trying to visit after five. Wait a minute, maybe this isn't it. There's a lot of bikes here, so it doesn't seem like a rehab place. Maybe I got it wrong. Hold up. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I go open this. Oh. All right, I'm going through here. Oh, there we go. Well, I don't know the room number for my grandma, so I'm just asking around. Alright, let's just look for her. She's on this one. Japanese old women all look very similar. It's kind of hard to tell. ゲッツ。はい。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ。ゲッツ
the flip over screen. All right, well, that was chill. See my grandma. It sucks though, cause like I could tell she's starting to forget stuff. She like repeats stuff sometimes. I've only seen her old really, so it's like it's not that bad. But like I just imagine shit like this happened to my mom. You know, just imagine your mom affected with Alzheimer's. One day I'm probably gonna get Alzheimer's. In vlog 10,332, my vlogs when I'm 90, I'm literally just gonna be repeating the same shit over and over. And all you guys are gonna be 92, just be like, oh yeah, wow, this is some great information we're all gonna be just fucking retarded i don't even know i just want to die before then honestly i'm just gonna take every drug go out with a blast yo check out this shrine there's a freaking cockroach right there yo check out this park right here though i'm gonna go in here real quick looks like you could take your dog here or something so I'm walking to Mitakadai now, which is uh, the closest train station. Honestly, Kichijoji was like almost just as close. I could have walked there, but Mitakadai is closer to my station and you know, gotta save money. There's a Domino's right there though. That's the first time I've seen a Domino's in Japan. There's a white dude right there too. Oh, he going to Domino's, you already know. There's coconut milk, there's berry match, apple coke, and there's this yogurt drink thing that looks fire. I don't know which one to get. I'm gonna get all of them. All right, let's try these drinks. This is the coconut milk. It's all right, but definitely an impulse buy. Now I'll try this one. I barely taste the apple. Yeah, no, this was definitely an impulse buy. Next time I try this, it's like a yogurt drink with like jelly things inside. This one's good. Well, all three are impulse buys. I didn't need any of this shit. I don't know if I should go home or stay on the train and go to Shibuya. Because I know Nazar and Antai are there. Antai's a professional Smash player. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh wait, I was looking at my phone and I just missed my stop. So, I guess I'm going to Shibuya. Are we in Shibuya now? And about the merch thing, also another reason why i think i'm gonna shut down the store is because i have a patreon as well and like i don't know it just it feels weird having both just asking for money on two different things you know i think i'm just gonna focus purely on patreon and and actually trying to like provide more content and stuff on on there so yeah if you want to support me patreon's the way to go i'm 90 sure i'm gonna delete the merch store and just focus on the patreon so when i hit 50 patrons i'm gonna start doing just like a fun little live stream that we can get personal in y'all can ask whatever questions you want we can talk about religion politics we could talk about all the juicy shit we could talk about whatever well turns out nazar just left so yeah i feel kind of stupid but i think anti still here though so i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna look for him he hasn't replied to my message yet though so um yeah i'm gonna just go eat taco bell all right so it turns out anti's on a date right now so yeah i took a fat l by coming here no. i'm stupid Coming here was an impulse buy. Alright, my camera died, so I'm gonna just end this video on my phone. But quick story. When I went to Japanese middle school, when I was like 13, 14, in Yokohama, or Yokosuka, in the beginning of English class, the teacher would always play some American song. She would change the song every couple weeks. And one of the songs was this song. But the English teacher would like sing along too, and she's Japanese. And it was so funny when she was singing it, because she would be like, it's my All right, yo, not gonna lie. I did not do my teacher justice with this clip. So I'm gonna redo it right here. All right, here we go. It's my life is now or never. And I don't want to live forever. Yeah, that's how it was. All right. Imagine this old lady singing that. Oh, it was amazing. Bon Jovi's a goat. All right, so yeah, I've just been doing nothing here, I guess. It was pretty pointless to come to Shibuya. Very, very pointless. I feel like I should do something here, though. I'm just gonna walk around until I get recognized, so I feel good about coming here. All right, so I was walking around, just walked by Family Mart. I didn't get recognized, but I did get scouted by a modeling agency, so they just like took some pictures of me and like asked for my info, so that's pretty dope. They asked me to take off my hat, though, and I don't really look good without my hat, so. <laughs> I don't know if they'll actually like go through with that. I got a big forehead, you know? That's just what it is. I think that's a big reason why like modeling agencies don't don't wanna don't work with me. 
because of my big ass forehead. I don't know why I can't just model in hats, you know? Like, I'd be a good ass hat model. Like, let me just model some hats. Why don't fashion companies think of that? This dude kept like looking back at me. I thought he was recognizing me. But then, yeah, it turns out I was just, I was just getting scouted. I was just being objectified because of my looks. So I just got back to my train station and I was still a little hungry so I went to this uh, Chinese restaurant chain called Bamiyan. I've never heard of like YouTubers in Japan talk about this. No one talks about it but it's pretty fire. It's like all around Japan. When you see a peach logo in Japan, it's Bamiyan. But yeah, they got all kinds of stuff. Eating some ramen right now and it stays open till 2 so. Anyway. Yeah. I'm feeling so alone right now. I'm not even hungry to be honest. I just came here because. Oh no. Shit. Well, I'm gonna just end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload and I like high fives. Shall we? Yeah.